Well, I am live here at my home in Houston, waiting for people to log in. If you're watching the rewebcast of this, you get a little few special moments with me, with nobody else. Um, I'm going to hear the, what we're going to do. Hey, hi, Scott. How are you? I was just having a chat with the people who are watching this in the future. I was talking to the future. Oh, that's pretty funny. I'm getting, I'm kind of, and I'm not punchy. I'm having fun today. I'm having a really good day getting ready. Hey, Clinton Pugh, how are you, buddy? Clinton. Oh, that is so fun. Now, Clinton is a good friend of mine. I knew his family ever since Clinton was in kindergarten. I used to play uh, dinosaur checkers with Clinton. And his mom coordinated me coming to schools all over in Texas. His mom, Tammy Pugh, the amazing real estate empress of Houston, is the one who sold me the house I'm living in now. I came down to Hurricane Katrina Relief, and I set up a relief, a cartoony relief for Hurricane Kids. And I joined together with uh, Joey Doyle from Alden School District, and the Clarks from the mayor's office. And we set up this huge evening for two weeks at the George Earl Brown Center for um, the, something like 11,000 kids every night, teaching them to draw up in the ballroom upstairs. And I stayed with uh, Tammy and her husband for the whole two weeks. They were so generous. And then during that two weeks, uh, in the afternoons, when I wasn't visiting the churches that the kids were staying at uh, also, um, I, she showed me some real estate because that's what she does, right? She's a real estate, a really good real estate seller. And and who else could sell some of the house in a hurricane-prone corridor right during a hurricane crisis than Tammy Pugh? That testifies. That's a testament to how good of a saleswoman she is. Can you believe that? And But I bought a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful house for my family. This is 16 years ago. But the whole start was Hurricane Katrina. I came down. <clears throat> I came down the the night after Oprah Winfrey left, uh, because Oprah. I, I I've always loved Oprah, and I thought she comes down here to help out. I can certainly come down and help. So I flew down from Wisconsin, and we set up this two week program after school. At the it just it was so much. It was awesome. So hi Lisa in Sao Paulo. How are you? Hi Ken. Hi Ken Vetter. I'm sending you a wave. Uh, Clint Pugh, sup? Hey. Clinton, did you like that whole story? I stayed with with your mom and her husband, and they and then she sold me a house. So the house I'm living in still, I'm still living here. It, what is it? 15, Sixteen years later, I love this house. Uh, Karen Wall, hi Karen, how are you? That's so great seeing you guys. Okay, so here's the deal tonight. I I'm gonna go in here. We're on day number. Make sure Karen agrees. Are we all in agreement? We're on day 128, right? Day 128 of 180 days. Uh, Clinton Pugh, I'm just tickled pink that you're on. And Clinton has two gorgeous kids of his own now. And he's this genius, like, what can, Clinton, how can I say what you're doing without breaking any national security things? I mean, is it, you're like top secret? I can't even tell, oh, oops, top secret, I don't know. <coughs> so... You send a text. You tell me how to introduce you, what you do. I'm so proud of you. Look at he said. I'm really proud of you, dude. That you you you've just reached the top echelons of what you, what you do, and you're so young. But I don't know how to describe it. So if you can, if not, just write no, never mind or something. But anyways, you're awesome, and and you've always been a great. And your sister is just a great teacher. Okay, hey, we have uh, hey M Arshad Zedekway. Can you tell me where you're from? I see you come on, I, and, and I just would love to know where you're from, what time it is, where you're at. Martin Jones, how are you doing? Uh, Martin Jones, how are you, buddy? I hope you heard that whole whole story about Clinton and Megan and Tammy. Oh, what, a, what a, just an awesome family. All right, so here we go. Here we go. These are the four books. We're going to pick a drawing from one of these four books. First of all, you have to pick, you guys have to tell me which book to pick, and then we'll pick a drawing in the book. Isn't this a fun little game? Let's do a little game. So tonight, hi, Steve. How are you doing? Crazy cartoons. See, these are all different books, you see? This is one book, right? Cartoon animals, right? Or monstrous creatures, or robot spaceship. 
or Crazy Cartoons. Pick a book now. One of the four. I'm going to take a quick tally. There's our four. Pick a book. Come on. I need some some uh, some input here. And while you guys decide, here, I was going to put them all on camera, and I'll get some paper. You guys, pick a book. Pick a book. We have one for Monsters. <coughs> Tell you what, I'll take the first. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I, I will take. I'll take the first. Uh, the first five responses. All right, here we go. We have two for Monsters. We have three for Monsters. Well, we're doing Monsters. Good morning, Alfred, in Ireland. What time is it? Is it like four in the morning for you? Hi, Mark Thornton. All right, so apparently we're going to pick Monsters. So that's just that. That was easy. So there's Cartoon. And we're going to do this one right here, right? We're not doing Robots and Gadgets. That's another night. And we're not doing crazy cartoons. I was kind of wanting to do this guy right here, the pterodactyl. But nope, 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 not doing that. By the way, what a shocker. You can buy these books on Amazon.com. They're great books to get. I, I think they're $10 each on Amazon. Someone, someone could go look and tell me. Okay. Oh. Uh. I do. I have. I have a friend here, and he he made me swear I'm not gonna to say his name because he's Mister. Or oh, you want me to tell your name? Okay, free name. What? He made me use. He's like very shy. But hey, uh, what do you say? Just write it down. What? Here, write it. Write it. Down. He's, he's wanting me to say something, and he's like pantomime. Okay. I wasn't trying to get. Oh, you're talking about me doing a drawing on the inside. Okay, I will do. Yeah, yeah, that's well, that's good. You can say what. So I when when I do an inside cover at at, at, at five fifteen, when I illustrate the inside cover of any of my books, it's a hundred bucks. It could be this book, or it could be uh, you could draw in thirty days or thirty minutes. It's a hundred bucks plus fifteen dollars shipping, and if you do that, it helps uh, the nonprofit uh, Marcus Imagination is Station where we educate, uplift, and inspire the next generation of kids through so many different activities, one of them being the summer art camps and these daily webcasts. So if it's 100 bucks, I can draw the inside. All right, so we're doing monsters. Let's open up the uh, schedule. Okay, so here we go. We could draw the monsters eating cheese, or we can draw so we can draw the lasagna. We can draw the volcano erupting. We've already done gingerbread. We've already done the mummy guy. We, we can, we kind of, the fur book, that's kind of cool, the colony, the fur blob, it's a brick, brick guy. We could do the marshmallow queen, that's kind of cute. Oh, this egg is cool too, look at the egg. Do you want to draw the egg? All right, I got to remember, you guys get another inch than I. I don't understand it, I don't understand how that works, but that's what you, it is. All right, so which, which ones, you guys kind of want to do the hatching, little hatchling? Jack Moore from NASA, how you doing, Jack Moore? How you doing, man? Uh, look at which one do you guys want to do? We picked the monster book. So you guys were going to do, we, we use this book and I open up to the index and uh, I'm thinking the marshmallow queen fur blob. Lisa Wiley, what's the fur blob? Do I have a second? I need, I need at least three votes. The fur blob, the hatchling, the gargoyle. That one's hard. And the uh, egg all the way. Oh, this one, egg all the way. So we have two. We have egg and fur blob. Those two right there. All right. And lasagna is kind of fun. Okay, fur. Oh, we got a double on the fur. Let's wait for... Hi, Alfred. Let's wait for five total. <clears throat> dragon in honor of the fallen god dragon. Okay, Jack Moore. So we have three for the fur blob. All right, so we're going fur blob right there. That's what we're doing. So let's go to page 12. Thank you guys for your response. Let's go to page 12 here. So here we are. We're going to draw... <clears throat> this is what we're going to draw. <clears throat> Jack, that's so cool you're here. Uh, are you going to, uh, Jack, are you coming to Comic Palooza on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Look at, we're going to draw that guy right there. So we start, look at, we start with the foreshortened block. We add the legs. Alfred, it is uh, 4.45 in the morning. And and uh, and look at, uh, Jack, I, uh, Alfred's saying hi. So look at, we're going to end up drawing this guy right here. That's cool. All right, let's do it. Okay, we the vote is in. We're drawing the fur blob on day 100. And, 
Oh, that's awesome. You come find me. I'm in space number. I can't remember, but it's on my Facebook page. Um, I thought I was supposed to be in the front, front that center aisle, but uh, so, something went amiss. Something went awry. Something, something didn't happen that I thought happened in December. But I said they, they're very wonderful, gracious. They got me a space. I'm just instead of being in the front, I'm in the very, very back. But. You know, <clears throat> I'm there, right? You're going to find me. People will find me. They will come. If you if you build your boot, they will come. Day 128, we're going to draw the fur blob. Is that what it's called? I don't have my glasses on. I take them off. Fur blob, yep. The fur blob, day 128. Okay. Uh, I'll come to say, of course, I'll come to the NASA Pavilion. I, I have my my uh, daughter's coming, my nineteen year old, and my and Mario's coming. My he's my seventeen year old, and uh, Luplo. Hey guys, all right, here we go. All right, I'm cleaning my glasses here. All right, let's draw the fur blob. We're gonna start with a block, and this is one drawing a day, no matter what. One drawing every. day day no matter what and of course I want to throw in my little logo and I can't find it because I jumped into this without getting everything prepared so I'm gonna do this with my hand I'll do the I'll, I'll physically make the logo one right other hand one drawing a day no matter what yeah two dots straight across from each other we're gonna make a four short ten square two dots straight across from each other Put your finger in the middle. Put it down above and below your finger. It's going to help us to create that wonderful two-point perspective uh, drawing without using all the vanishing points. I'm going to draw the four shortened square. Draw the four shortened square. Get that focus. You guys with me? I know. Mark, can you please up to the full list so we can check out? Oh, okay. All right, here. Over here, I'll say Mark. Please, yeah, this will be in the picture. Upload full list for us genius, loyal, creative. Uh, what else? Some else. Uh, Creative, uh, artistic, uh, uh, what else? Tribe peeps, tribe for us as artistic, uh, tribe members or daily. We got to put something about daily in there, right? All right. Hold on. Okay. Daily webcast tribe, the daily webcast. Enthusiastic uh, peeps. Is you all right with peeps? Are you guys okay with peeps? I put peeps. I hope that's all right. Jack Moore, beautiful. Hey, if I get Jack and Lupla and Alfred all saying awesome. All right. So, look, I'm not even done yet. Look what I'm doing. I'm putting a little, a little of that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? You guys should see my summer camp shirt. You guys want to see my summer camp shirt? It's so awesome. This is, I'm going to wear this here. I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to reverse the camera. Ready? Here. Okay. And you can't see Ken back there. Ken's organized. Ken, while you're on the, you're on it now, turn around and wave. Here, there's Ken. Ken, get out of my stuff. Look at Ken. He's, look, I know my eyes are red. I'm really tired. Uh, Ken, he is, he's, he is, uh, my good buddies down for Comic Palooza to help me out. Ken, come here. Look at show. Say say hi or something, dude. All right, now he is, but he's he keeps cleaning all my. Uh, he cleaned my entire Comic Con site. My room downstairs was a total insane mess. I haven't cleaned it for two years. He cleaned it tonight. It's been like four hours, dude. You can relax, chill. You're 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 on vacation from your kids. All right. So anyway, look at the shirt, guys. I love it. Now this guy. He's wearing it in a protest he's, because he's part of me. He's helping me. He's a team member, right? Look at the shirt. Look at is that cool? Yeah, Look, cool is it reversed? Yeah. Are you saying it the right way or is it backwards for you guys? Isn't that cool? I think it's so cool. 
and you have to you know you have to say yes you 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 do don't like it but you're gonna wear it right that's right for right. pride. All right, you're part of the tribe for, for taking one for the team. That's right, purple pride. What? It's purple pride. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mention that. Middle line's longer. <laughs> it's reversed, but you saw it. The whole idea. No, this was totally a takeoff of my good friends, the professors at Dubai Comic Con, and they had the 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 same design except reversed with the balloon coming from like their appendix and middle lines and they and they said uh ask me about that another animation program and I thought oh that's so great please can I use that can I just can I just take that can I just take it right away just boom right and put it onto my ask me about summer art camp and they thought that was very funny so thank you my professor friends at the American uh, School of Animation in the United Emirates in Dubai. That's appreciated. That this is your shirt. That's my verbal gratitude. All right, I love it. It was great. Now, Mark, tell me more about your camp. Oh well, I have a special featured guest artist coming on the final day, and it's a very, very important, amazing person from NASA. Gee, I wonder who that is. It's, I wonder who could, we just filled out the official form, Jack, by the way. We did that official link going to the NASA. Jackson could give a uh, commencement talk during the final performance, the extravaganza. We have 180 kids. We have 500 people show up for our final night. And we have two-hour program where we show the kids animation. We show the kids, all 180 of them do this massive puppet show on the stage. Imagine, if you will... All the kids, uh, um, all they're all sitting on the floor behind a three-foot-high black curtain that's got to be 25 feet long because we have 190 kids back there. And they all have these amazing puppets they make out of socks and paper plates and paper bags and pipe cleaners and paint and construction paper and yarn. And they're incredible. You can see pictures on the website. And now imagine 190 kids and all of a sudden the room goes dark and you hear... Coming out of the just like the heavens uh, is Bohemian Rhapsody, and and then you know and then it hits you know Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, and all the kids are do, doing their puppets at different times, and they put this together in five days, it's, well four day four and a half days. Come down here in this direction, direction south, the uh, east. Go up here in direction uh, northeast, and then draw the top of the foot here. I'm going to put the, the thickness. He's like has big bricks, soft bricks. These are going to be furry bricks for his shoes. Middle line's longer. I just added little squares to the list to use as check boxes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I guess, Karen, Karen, are you going to send me the new file of, of all that? This is my, Karen's the one who typed all this, by the way. This is great. She's, she's the one. Thank you. She did all that typing. She did all this typing. And then, and then uh, I'm the one who messed it up with all my little notes, right, uh, Karen? I I don't even know if you've done that, but if you uh, can, if you send me an image, I can just take that screenshot and put it up. That'd be awesome. Unless people want my silly little notes and scratches on it. Stop! Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It's, uh, the the uh, art camp's gonna be awesome. Every day, the kids will draw. With me, then they'll go to puppetry, and then they'll go to, well, we have six different grade uh, age groups, and we have about 25 to 30 kids per class. Uh, well, we have 180 kids, so it's probably 30 kids. 30 times, yep, that's it. 30, 30 times 6 is 180. We max out every year, and uh, we have uh, 15 parent volunteers, and we still have openings, so we'd love to have you guys come. It's $399 per child. If you have a second child, they get a $50 discount, so it's uh, $349. Sign up online. We would love to have you. It is, you figure, uh, the, uh, you figure a day camp, uh, just a daycare is, you know, anywhere from uh, 225 to um, 299 a week, and ours, you get, Top-notch art education for that full week for three hundred ninety-nine. It's just incredible. Uh, did you get your luggage? Yep, got my luggage. I went down today. Got it. <laughs> you guys, you guys, how in the world do you remember these details? I got the luggage. I turned in the rental car and I got mine back. And it turned out, you guys, 
Did I tell you the flight was canceled last night? It was a little bit, I was justified in that whole thing. Okay, I'm tucking the eye underneath there. Well, why did I make him a, no, wait, he has two eyes. Look, I made him a Cyclops. Look, this guy has two eyes. Well, I can't believe I just did that. I'm getting, I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want one, I want two eyes. I'm, I'm gonna put the eyes up here too. I'm gonna put them higher. There. And do you guys wanna give him a smile or no? You wanna give him, a, I'm gonna give him a smile. I'm gonna give this guy a smile. I'm gonna give him a smile. He looks happy. All right, so up here, I'm gonna draw. I can draw his, uh, okay, let's draw the bottom, the fur, right? I'm gonna have his, his eyes come in and I'm gonna draw the top, kind of the top of his, like, almost eye, his forehead kind of eyebrow. And it's at Trinity Lutheran School, by the way, the summer camp. It's at Trinity Lutheran School in Spring, Texas. We call it the Spring Woodland Summer Camp because it's right on the edge of the Woodlands uh, um, demarcation. And uh, it's just it's a fantastic, amazing trip. We take over the whole campus. We take over the whole um, sanctuary when we do, we're do. we doing the our, uh, <clears throat> our final performance. Again, we have over 500 people come. It's just so amazing. Last year, out of the 180... Excuse me. Out of the 180 people, guess how many families, how many kids signed up in advance to come back? Okay, now remember, just think, usually 15% uh, advance sign up for the following year is huge. All right, that's statistically. And I have I have great camps, and I usually, if I get 15%, I'm thrilled. Guess how many we had sign up for next year ahead, a year ahead. Yes, and there's no refunds, you know, if you change your schedule. So they these people really took a leap of faith that they weren't their schedule wasn't gonna change and that we were just they were gonna stick with it. Someone take a guess. Out of 180, guess how many students it was so awesome. I don't get anything. Well, double double that percentage of a good return, that would be what? Uh thirty percent would be Hi, Brian Salinas. Uh, Brian Salinas, I sure I talked about the summer camp. I hope your kids fifty. You you were very close, Lisa Wiling. We had fifty seven, fifty seven signed up to come back. I was just such a testament to the power of these teachers. They're they're wonderful. It was I like, truly some of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, Jamie Hazelwood doing uh, claymation. Tommy Sims doing. Uh, a puppetry, incredible puppetry, and also helps with, he, he's really the guru of the claymation. Uh, he and Jamie are partners on a bunch of productions. Uh, this year we have Joel Gorey, the co-star of The Secret City from 1985 through 1989. Uh, he's from uh, Harris, uh, Pennsylvania, and he's a professor. He teaches drama, and he's an amazing, amazing drama professor. I'm going to put a shadow down here, cast onto the ground. Putting a light up behind here. Uh, working with Joe Gorey again. We had a reunion. I hadn't seen her or talked to him in uh, 30 years since the Secret City in 1985 was the production. And then we had reruns. But I hadn't seen him really since maybe about 92, maybe. I bump into him in, a, in a, like New York or something. And uh, I'm going to put the sun. Put the sun up here so we know where our light's coming from. Okay, I'm going to put the sun. Here's the sun peeking over the top. And um, Kevin Garcia, I think it was Kevin, did a uh, wrote an article for a media magazine. And he's from uh, San Antonio. And he interviewed me and said, you know, is there a way that, that uh, he could interview? I'm going to put arms on that. I don't have arms on the other one. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put arms on this guy. I'm going to move this up here. I want his arm to come out from about the center. And I'm going to draw, I have his arms coming like that. And then he's going to be reaching out. Here's his hand. And, okay, so his, there's his fingers kind of splaying out. Got to erase the leg because his hands, are, his fingers are in front of it. And uh, I said, yeah, you should call. Well, I'm friends with Joel. We just haven't talked that much. You know, sometimes your friends, you lose touch, but doesn't really affect your 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 deep uh, friendship, but we're these guys, we're sometimes we just we lose touch. 
Uh, and so 30 years. And he so this guy called me, interviewed him. And then he, and then I called Joel and we reconnected. And we actually then, two weeks later, I was having a Comic Con in uh, Pennsylvania. Where was the closest one in Pennsylvania? Where is it? Philadelphia? I was in Philadelphia and he came. And I'm going to draw, what am I, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put his hand out like that. And he came, and we went and had dim sum. I remember that. And we had we brought Phil Ortiz with us, which was fun. A, a good friend of mine who uh, was one of the original Simpsons animators. And he came, and we just had such a great evening catching up after all those. There's actually a picture of me on Wikipedia. You search images, and the picture, and one of the pictures that we sent to be included in that media mag. I think it was Wired magazine or something, or. Uh, it was one of those magazines talked about the the impact of pop culture on um, digital video entertainment and the games and the show certainly had a big impact on that, you know. So that was just really cool. But he came, he, he and I just did I just uh, last year was the first year I invited him. I said, "You you want to get back working with the kids? You come on out and you will have a blast." And he did. He came out. He also he did. He does too. He does Albuquerque. And can you guys see the bottom of the shoe? By the way, can you guys see the bottom of the shoe? Can someone help me? Because it's you. What I see and what you see is different. I need to know. Can yes or no? Somebody. I know there's a delay. There's a lag in it. But if you would let me know if you can see the. Okay, you can't see. I can't see the bottom of my shoe on my on my screen. Okay. Yep, you see it. All right. From what I understand, there's about an inch that I can't see. This is where I can't see. My vision stops right here. See that? That dot? How much further can you see below that, you guys? And here's... You know, how, I'm trying to think how you can give me a proper uh, relationship in size. Use the... How much more of that can you see? So... I guess here's my thumb. Can you see two thumbs, three thumbs? The shoes, the the shoes are on the very bottom, the, almost to the <coughs> bottom of the shadow. Oh, the bottom of the shadow. Okay. Oh, so it's a, yeah, it's half a thumb. All right. It's just weird. Why can't? Why is that different? That doesn't make any sense. Why is your your field of vision bigger than mine? Interesting. All right. Hi, Jen. There's a brand new student. I've never met her before. Janine Lucy. Interesting way to spell your name, Janine. Lucy Carla, Carla Polly. Cool name. Janine Lucy with many Ys. Lucy Carlo Polly. Polly. Carlopoli. I like it. I like that name, Carlopoli. Oh, we should name this guy Carlopoli. Okay, this is going to be his name. I am Carlopoli. I am. I love that name. That's awesome. I am Carlopoli. I love it. I am Carlopoli. Sounds like Spartacus. Sounds like a Greek god. I am Carlopoli, Spartacus's cousin. And I am a furry guy. And I need the upload of the list for some reason that we need it back in the ancient times. All right, let's put a horizon line back here. Uh, Carlopoli, cool name. Janet Gordon, hello, hello. Uh, okay, boy, you guys are still all dwelling on the whole. I'm, I'm way past the whole dot and shadow thing, you guys. Way past it. All right, let's turn your drawing here. And I, I'm glad we drew our, our fur fur bowl. I'm gonna our fur blob. Carlopoli, the fur blob. I love it. Now this is again a drawing out of. Our draw, draw, draw series, monsters and uh, creators. If you guys, if you want this drawing right here, ooh, Corlopoli, right? You want this drawing right here? Send a hundred dollars uh, to the. Uh, go on to my website, click one-time donation for the nonprofit. I guarantee you that that hundred dollars is going to help send some kids to summer art camp. You're going to love it, and I'll send you that drawing. If you want this book right here, this book right here, I'll draw a fresh drawing right on the inside. That'll be $100.
I'll put it right around that gargoyle right there. See that? I'll draw it either here on the inside cover or I'll put it here, maybe both. I don't know, but it'll be $100 and I'll mail you an original drawing inside the inside the Draw, Draw, Draw book. It'll be awesome. And that'll be $115 for shipping for that, you guys. And this one right here, $7 shipping, is just an envelope and your priority mail posted. So this will be 100 and, uh, 107 okay? All right, well, uh, thank you guys for drawing with me. Thanks for supporting the nonprofit or our nonprofit right here. Remember back when it was 90 days? It's 180 days now. We're bust. There's my website. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter. All these are reposted to YouTube. <laughs> remember... Remember, this is we're changing the uh, the whole rules, the whole uh, system, as we're taking it off of the free YouTube. We're putting it all into our valuable Draw 3D uh, site. Okay, now the price for the Draw 3D site uh, is going up. So here's my discount code. This is still valid. We're probably uh, remember I said it was going to be May first. We're probably another two weeks out from th this price right here is going up to our original premium art. Family art membership a price of one ninety nine for the full year. Right now, you can still get it for forty nine if you go to draw three d dot com. What this is for you new people? It's three hundred and seventy five drawing lessons. It keeps going up every month. We keep adding many, many more. My goal right here is one thousand lessons over the next year, and we, we we're going to be doing it if we're adding a lesson a day from the daily webcast. So the daily webcast we put over to draw three d. We will leave it live for 24 hours on Facebook. Uh, we might put a you know small 30% portion on YouTube. I'm still talking to the, about the ed editing with about that, but for, for sure we'll have it here available for many many years. Okay, all right, guys. Thank you so much for drawing with me. Thank you, Jack Moore. I'll see everybody at Comic Palooza this weekend. Um, again, look for me. I'm in the Artist Alley area in the creative, creative Vendors comic book area. So I can't, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll tell you the space number tomorrow. I'll tune in tomorrow or I'll post it. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. I love you. Take care of each other. And I'll see you tomorrow for day number one. The lot. One lot. hundred lot. Bye.